uh, Tuesday when uh, when I started this event, I was wearing a suit and uh, a tie. I was formal today. I'm wearing my guayabera. So let's be a bit more casual as we close uh, this uh, nice event. This event leaves us with a very uh, nice aftertaste because we had a lot of good things during the week. One of them is that this event really hit records in att of attendance. Do you remember that we said how many people had registered? Well, we have 880 people in person and 550 <laughs> remote uh, participants. So, this means that many, many people of the community are participating and uh, benefited of everything we did this week. So, let us summarize uh, some of the things that happened this week. One of them were the tutorials, eight tutorials of different uh, themes, including IPv6 only, interconnection laboratory, automation, secure routing, among others. Whenever we have an event, there are more people that uh, get trained on these t themes, and that has a positive impact on the technical uh, community in the region. We had very interesting sessions and panels. Certainly, you may have noticed the panel on satellite communications that uh, is being used now, and we also had uh, the fair share a panel that was very interesting. We would have loved to have more time to continue to discuss that. And we also had the 20th anniversary of Frida and the positive impact of this program in the region. We had over 21 technical presentations in the LACNIC Technical Forum. And in the Public Policy Forum, we had quite a rich uh, debate. It was uh, quite active. We had several proposals that were presented with many comments, a lot of engagement. We also had the second edition of the measurement working group this morning. We also had LACNOC presentations and updates of the SOSA and migration of RPKI system, among others. In parallel, we had many other events of the community something that we absolutely love because this is something that doesn't happen in other regions in such a well-organized manner. So many uh, organizations that work with the Internet in Latin America and the Caribbean um, uh, uh, gather in the same uh, venue, or not in the same room, but working as a community, including the LAC Peering Forum, LAC TLD meeting, LAC uh, X, uh, the conference of LAC C certs, like SP, Carignog, and even Contelka, the regulators of Central America, were with us. That shows the our interest of building an internet community in the region and uh, to make the most of synergisms and uh, collaboration. This is the time to thank all those uh, that worked to make this event a success. We especially want to thank the volunteers. Almost everything that is done at this event involves uh, volunteer work. People that participate in the different uh, uh, so-called bodies of LACNIC. We have members of the community that uh, select uh, the proposals of the papers, and we have volunteers in many parts of the event. And really, the fact that they do so shows that uh, they want to contribute, and we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. We also want to thank the FTL Programs Committee, the authors of the Public Policy Forum that work hard for the proposals, those that engage in the uh, discussions, the chairs of the P, um, uh, Public Policy Forum, tutorials, etc. We also want to thank the sponsors because now with such an increase of the events, do you remember, if you remember, uh, when we uh, had uh, 200 participants and now 880, the size of the events grows exponentially. And with that, that also includes the complexity and cost and the fact that we have sponsors that share information during the events. All that makes uh, the events possible and makes them more enriching. So I want to thank all the sponsors of our events. And we also want to thank our staff of LACNIC. Only those that have organized uh, an event of this size, understand the complexity that it involves. 
the number of things that happen from the time you start planning until finally you execute them and during the execution you have to run to and fro so our staff knows how to do things they are absolutely are paying attention to do things right and that is why our ev events are so excellent so thank you staff very good job We also have the logistics uh, um, uh, staff, uh, the support uh, staff, uh, our translators. I apologize for speaking so uh, quickly, and even so, they try hard so that everybody may understand what's happening here. So we want to thank all uh, the support staff and the interpreters. Finally, we... Uh, I have to announce the LACNIC 42, the venue. We, we are always eager to hear where it's going to be. I have good news. We are going to a new place, somewhere where we have never been before. You know that we want to reach different parts of the community so that whenever we go to a new city, we also uh, include people that are attending for the first time and next time uh, hopefully they will join us uh, in a different site so i'm very happy to announce that the next event LACNIC 42 LACNOC 2025 will 24 will be in Asuncion Paraguay from October 7th to 11th So, see you again in Paraguay in just a few months. I hope you can be with us. Let's see whether we have even more people than today. And, uh, well, we haven't closed the event. We still have a room for sharing things. We thank you all for having supported the event and sharing activities with all of us. And with this, we put an end to LACNIC 41, but we'll continue to generate spaces and uh, gatherings, meetings to strengthen the global internet from our region.